All right, y'all, welcome to another episode of mm -hmm. Um, I am Javon J. Smith. I am here to eat some food. And so I just had to do that right quick. Are y'all ready to eat? That's all, man. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Woo. Yeah, yeah. Now, nah, now. Nah. Like a wrong car, first day, second play, and I'm not done. Big back activities. <laughs> in moderation, nothing wasted in profundity. Profundity. All the way around, hit me up, I'm always down the clown. Alright, so today we have. The ever trusted McDonald's, y'all know how I do it. I take the sauces off. I get extra sauces um, because I'm saucy, right? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Don't play with me. So I just take the I take the tops off of all the sauces at once to decrease the laboriousness of eating fast food. I have to do a lot of unwrapping, unraveling. Um, and you know what? I just, I just don't have time for that. I like to enjoy my my food. That's why me and seafood boils. I love me a seafood boil, but I can only have it every once in a while because it is just way too much work. Too many utensils and tools involved. You getting pricked and all this stuff on your fingers. It's like, oh my goodness. So I just was like, uh, -uh. I can't do that. So. That's all I do. And then I'm going to make a McChicken. And I'm going to tell you why I got this McChicken. It's because I got extra sweet and sour sauces. And so, once I run out of nuggets, I'm just dip the McChicken in the sweet and sour sauce. And that's that's how big back we is, baby. We big back around here. All right. So, I'm going to dip my nugget in my sauce and just eat it. <laughs> I'm a grown man, and I still love chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. I eat me some chicken nuggets. And I'm eating the chicken nuggets like they're supposed to be ate. Sauce. Mm -mm. to put her up in the room because she was just making too much noise. She will be sleeping for 10 minutes. <laughs> She'll be knocked out too. Well, I got a lot of furniture so there's uh, there are a select few pieces that she's allowed to be on. Baby, Zora's having a fit. Give us a spree. <laughs> I'll let her out when I'm done filming. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. I just love how clearly my cat communicates. She was like, if you don't let me out of here, I will be angry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
But she's the one that ran in there in the first place. That's how she got locked in there. Because <laughs> she knows when I get up, after she's doing that yelling, it's time to go away. And don't worry, guys. These rooms are lavish. They have day beds, ottomans, benches. <laughs> so it's perfectly fine. That's why I said I'm going to sleep in two minutes. Have a chase in one room. Have a walk in closet. That's Zora's favorite room. Which is also good because it's very far from my room. I'm in the front of the apartment, she's in the back. Zora's the kind of cat. <laughs> Maybe it cracks you up. Because some of the things about my cat, some of the quirks, are like she's so picky, just like me. She has a lot of things about her that are me. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. Like, she, I literally have to buy a specific brand of tuna in order for her to eat wet food. I tried to feed her some Aldi's tuna and I racked up on that Aldi's tuna too. She did not touch it. making tuna salad for one of these mukbangs. <laughs> because she's saying, uh-uh. She's so picky. I was so hungry. Man. I eat me a 20 piece nugget in two minutes. Man, I was so hungry. And that's why you get the extra sweet and sauce to put on your McChicken chips. I don't know what that sloppy is they call mayonnaise, but it's giving fast food. I like my food meeting. Slow. All right. That's why you put the sweet salad on the chicken. Mm. Mm. I'm trying to see myself. I ain't got my
out. I pulled out. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's just too much going on in the world. You know, I be like, ah, oh, my God. What is this? You look to your left, you look to your other left, you be like, oh, it's too much going on. So, sometimes you just got to sit down, you know. You got to sit down, you got to slow down, you got to stop, take a second, recuperate. You know what I'm saying? That's how you got to do it. That's how you got to live life. You got to live life at a slow pace. Slow pace. I know a lot of people stuck in the fast lane, but at a certain point, you just, you good at just going at your own pace, you know? Like the tortoise and the hare, we're not, we're not the hare. We're not, we're the tortoise. Yeah. And what did we do? Win the race. And what will we do? Win the race. Because usually when you're going too fast, you miss a lot of the stops. You miss a lot of the taking it in. You miss a lot of the building. You miss a lot of the growing. And so you really want to go at a pace that, you know, feels right to you. You know, at any capacity in life. Mentally, socially, physically, spiritually. All of it. Financially. I love it. I believe life is too short to not stop and smell them stinking roses. Because <laughs> I know you like to thank you. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. I'm in a much better mood now. I was in a crappy mood earlier. I ain't even gonna stunt. I was in a crappy mood earlier. Um, I don't know if I'm going to talk about it. I, I'll talk about it. So, essentially, just the person I was talking to um, was really coming down on me. Um, and I was not jiving with that. No, I was not. I was not jiving with that. You know, as far as my employment is concerned, my education is concerned, my business is concerned, just coming at me left and right. And I'm like, hold on, ma'am. And then once I once I came to, I was like, no, I'm mad at her. <laughs> I was like trying to figure out, like, well, Javon, why are you so mad? And, um... I realized I was mad, rightfully so, because I was being disrespected, you know? And so, I am not walking around this world mad. I'm not about to be doing that. I am not, nope, nope. I'm about to be happy, okay? So those moments when you're mad, you just gotta tell yourself, okay, all right, I'm, I'm feeling this right now, but this is not going to be who I am. And you coach yourself through it, and you give yourself time and space. Give yourself that warmth and grace. Um, you really want to make sure that you have some type of power left over for yourself. When you're moving throughout this world, um, navigating, meeting new people, doing new things... Um, you're going to have to protect yourself in ways that are not just innate. You're going to have to really think about the steps that you take when you are meeting other people or doing different things. Um, and the reason why I say that is because if you don't, um, you run the risk of looking over some things that were supposed to bless you. Um, some things that were supposed to take you through. And so, as long as you um, are cognizant of those things that are supposed to bless you and are supposed to take you through, um, then you are walking and operating in faith. Um, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And um, that is true. 
It's intangible. And the fact that it's so abstract makes it that much more precious. Um, I do believe that we have um, our self and our soul. And our soul, as my university minister would say, it's uh, comprised of our mind, will, and emotions. And so when your emotions are not intact, make sure that your will is. The things that you want are intact. That you are still trying to bless yourself or bless others, even if you have bad emotions, in spite of those bad emotions. And because of your mind being made up in that way, you are able to enact the fruits of the spirit. And um, that is something that I think is very important. Um, overall, this journey, it has its stumbling blocks. And we all meet them at a point or another. But it's about how you get up. It's something about just getting up. You get up for the day. You get up out the bed. You get up and brush your teeth. Just get up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and stay up. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. For real. I really want those around me to understand the power that they have if they have a relationship with God. The power that they have if they have a relationship, a healthy relationship with themselves. The power they have if they have fruitful relationships with others. I really want people to understand that because it's life changing. And it's not just your life that you're changing. It's, it's the people around you too. They're reaping the benefits of what you've sown. And so as long as we remember that, we will have nothing but blessing in community. In tandem with one another, we would see that there is more power together than there is when we're apart. And so I actually rest on that as a means of just getting through day to day. I posted on Facebook recently. I was like, get out of survival mode. All that fight, flight, or freeze, I added fright in there. Because you should be scared, okay? And it rhymes. You know? All that. All those trauma responses. Those happen, but those are not you. Those may be a product of your experiences, but those are not who you are. You are not your trauma. You are not your trauma. You are not your trauma. You are, however, your healing. You are your healing. You are your healing. And once you recognize that you are a mechanism of healing, then you get to heal and help others. Or heal and help you. There is substance in certain love languages like acts of service or quality time. The others have substance as well, but when we're really thinking about those two, those two will save humanity. And that's what I'm here for. Um, I have had so many close calls, so many encounters. I'm like, if I was supposed to go, I would have been gone. To be quite honest, they told my parents that I would be lucky to see six years old due to my sickle cell. And here I am, 32 years old. Still kicking and screaming. And eating. <laughs> God is good. And so, um, I just wanted to share that little nugget of wisdom with you. Um, I know we have hard days sometimes. 
And so if you ever have a hard day, you know, click, click on one of my videos. If I'm not ranting, then I'll help you. It's all love, you know. So that's how I feel. All right, y'all, bye.